Welcome to CAST Tutorials and in this video I'll be covering practice problem 10.5. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you like this video just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So we're asked to find IO using superposition right. So we're asked to find IO using superposition so what we do the superposition just basically find the contribution of all the independent sources and add it up so we have two independent sources in this case we have a current source and we have a voltage source so just to abbreviate the total contribution or the total io is the sum of the contribution of a current source which i'm gonna use that to show that this is for the current source plus the contribution of the voltage source right so let's start with the contribution of the current source. So we're going to do this separately because you have to switch off one independent source or switch off all the other independent sources that are there and only focus on one at a time. So now that we want to find the contribution of the current source, we're going to switch this one off. So this is what is going to happen. So current source contribution. So I will that. So this is a new circuit that we're going to have now that we are only focusing on the current source. This is a circuit that we're going to have. And the only source, or the only independent source in play is just this current source over here. And switching off the voltage source would lead to a short circuit over there. Then everything else is as it was. And this is our seat. Right? So now, what can we do from here? There are quite a few things which you can do. You can do nodal analysis or whatever you want to do or whichever way you see it. So here's what I'm going to do. If you look at this, this is the same node. as So this is just one node. This is the same node as well. So these two elements share two nodes with this, which means you can redraw this to just this. You can basically just take this to there. It's exactly the same thing. They share two nodes. And this is what we basically have. They share two nodes, those same two nodes. Just that we now shifted that, we just turned it around to be in this position, but the connection is still the same. Now that this circuit actually looks familiar, we can go ahead to actually find IOC and we're going to do KCL nodal analysis at this top node over here. And doing that quickly, we are going to have this, or we can rather say quickly, you can either do KCL nodal analysis here, which is uh, longer compared to the method which I'm going to introduce now. You can combine these two right in parallel and say 6 in parallel with J4 would give you 3.328 with an angle of 56.3099 degrees. And this is in ohms. So this is the combination of these two. So we now combine these two to form this value, which is over here. Let's just call it ZR, right? ZR is over there. So now we can do current division because this six amperes over here, it's gonna come in that direction. And when it reaches this point, it's gonna split into the current that goes through there and IOC. So we're only interested in IOC. So to find IOC, we can just basically do current division. And to do that, basically just going to say 6 multiplied by ZR, which is the parallel combination we just found, divided by ZR plus this, the sum of that, which is 8 subtract J2. So plus 8 subtract J2. So substituting ZR, which is over here, 3.328 with an angle of 56.3099 degrees. Substituting this into there and here as well, then you're gonna find your IO in terms of your current source and the value should be 2.02196 with an angle of 51.84 degrees and that is in amperes, right? So this is the contribution of the current source by itself we're now going to move on to the contribution of the voltage source. So IO due to the voltage source. Now IO due to the voltage source means we turn off the current source and we now have this circuit over here. 
Now that we have this circuit, the current source becomes an open circuit. And this is basically all that we have in our circuit over here. So you have 30 with an angle of 30 degrees in volts. And we are asked to find this IO. So once again, there are quite a few ways which you can actually solve this. Right. So what can we do to quickly solve this? Or what are the ways which you can add? So let's, let's do this. Here's one method which you can do. You can basically just do combine, combine here. You basically combine this side. So this is 8 minus J2. So you're going to say 8 minus J2, which is this, the impedance on this side. It, it shares two nodes. So the, this combination shares two nodes with J4. So you're going to combine that in parallel. And the result of that should be 4 with an angle of 61. 0.93 degrees, right? So that is the parallel combination of these two. After combining those, let's call it Z, ZR2, right? So ZR2, which is what we have over there. And then we have your J4 over here. Then you have your six. So this is the parallel combination of that. Okay, so this is taken out because it's part of the combination. So this is all you have now. This is ZR2, which is equal to the parallel combination of 8 minus J2 and J4. And then over here, you have your 6. Then here, you have the voltage source. Now that we have this, you can basically do voltage division. And to do voltage division, you're going to say 30 in an angle of 30 uh, multiplied by ZR2 divided by ZR2 plus 6 to find the voltage which is across this parallel section or this combination over there. So this voltage which is across this J2 is the same voltage which is across 8 subtract J2 because you can basically just combine this into one impedance of value 8 minus J2 which is that 8 minus J2. So this is in parallel with that which means they share the same voltage. Now that these two share the same voltage we can use Ohm's law so the value of the voltage would come from here and that value is 13 point, so the value of that would be 13.8946 with an angle of 67.8065 degrees. Now that we have this voltage value, which is the voltage across 8 subtract J2, and we have IO due to the voltage source indicated there as well. We can just use Ohm's law and say V is equal to IR which means I is equal to V divided by R. So dividing this voltage, dividing this voltage by your 8 minus J2 should give you IO due to the voltage source. And the value of that should then be, so the value which is across that should then be, this is the contribution should be 1.685 with an angle of 81.84 degrees in amperes. Now the final contribution or the final value of IO is therefore IO is equals to IO due to the current source which we found plus IO due to the voltage source which is found as well. And the total of that or the final answer should be 3.582 with an angle of 64.45 degrees and the unit for that is amperes.